Frank, 59, was placed under conservatorship after he suffered a debilitating stroke in July 2022 that reportedly left his decision-making capacity impaired. The U.S. Sun can exclusively reveal Frank's conservator, Midwestone Bank, filed an amended initial financial management plan and an inventory report on June 27. Midwestone Bank requested to seal the inventory of Frank's real property and monetary assets, as well as his whereabouts because he is a well-known celebrity. The judge on the case approved his conservator's request to seal the financial records. The request comes after a notice of delinquency for conservatorships was filed on June 2 after the inventory report was not filed by the due date. The court papers read, Failure to file the same within 60-60 days from the date hereof will result in 1. A report being made to the presiding judge, 2. The fiduciaries being subject to removal, 3. A report being made to the chief judge of the judicial district and the administrator of the judicial branch, and 4. A report being made to the Committee on Professional Ethics and Conduct, which may result in disciplinary action being taken, Midwestone Bank filed an initial plan that revealed Frank's monthly expenses in October 2022. According to the plan, Frank spends $28,292 monthly on expenses, including $22,832 on in-home health care. The health care alone is expected to cost $273,984 yearly for the star. Other expenses include $1,250 in food, $850 in health insurance payments, $500 in transportation, $250 in clothing, and more. Frank's annual income is just $60,000 from investments, but according to the court papers, Midwestone Bank provided a plan for Frank to make more money. The court papers read, Assets will be invested to start generating income for Mr. Fritz. The conservator has not inventoried Frank's many collectibles and antiques, but they plan to leave them largely as they are now. The conservator will work with the guardian to integrate Mr. Fritz into management decisions as he continues to recover. A checking account with a small balance will be available for Frank's personal use. The conservator will also work to apply for disability income for the protected person should he be eligible. When asked how long the conservatorship is expected to last, the bank responded, unknown. Frank was unemployed at the time of his stroke. He had no debt listed. The U.S. Sun broke the news that the conservatorship was filed in August 2022. The documents obtained by the U.S. Sun read, because of his stroke, Mr. Fritz's decision-making capacity is so impaired that he is unable to care for his own safety or to provide for necessities such as food, shelter, clothing, or medical care without which physical injury or illness may occur. Mr. Fritz's decision-making capacity is so impaired that he is unable to make, communicate, or carry out important decisions concerning his own financial affairs. An exhibit was mentioned in the court papers from a doctor, allegedly confirming Frank does not have decisional capacity. The legal papers continued, Decisions must be made for Mr. Fritz's care and placement while he continues to recover and receive treatment for his injuries. Appointment of a guardian and conservator is necessary to avoid immediate harm to him. The petitioner requested a separate longtime friend of Frank's, who has been assisting him in decision-making since the stroke, P. his guardian. The Guardian will help Frank with his Crohn's disease treatment and continued physical therapy. He will also help the former American Pickers star grocery shop, cook, and get him to any activity he feels up to doing. Frank struggled with his health when he returned home from rehabilitation. The U.S. Sun obtained four 911 calls placed from the house, resulting in Frank being rushed to the hospital. On November 17, Frank's caregiver called 911, because he was having a seizure, she told the operator. He just came home from inpatient rehab for a stroke. He just had a full-blown seizure, maybe more than one. He's been shaking. She then asked the operator if there's anything she can do to help him, as she was transferred to medical. On December 7, another caregiver called 911 for elevated blood pressure. She said on the call, I have a 59-year-old stroke victim with elevated blood pressure. You could hear Frank moan in the background, as she could be heard telling him, 
You have to go because your blood pressure is too high, he responded. Oh, in the final two calls, another caregiver called 911 on December 21 for possible pneumonia. Frank's guardian then called the next day. He said in the call, I'm going to need an ambulance to take someone to the hospital because I think they have pneumonia. I'm the guardian. He's handicapped. He's wheelchair bound. Frank last appeared on American Pickers during a March 2020 episode as he took time off to recover from back surgery that left him with 185 stitches and two rods in his spine. During his time off the show, Frank lost 65 pounds. He also told the U.S. Sun that he entered rehab for alcohol addiction in Yawa for 77 days. Frank revealed his feud with co-star Mike during the 2021 interview with the U.S. Sun. Frank said, I haven't talked to Mike in two years. He knew my back was messed up, but he didn't call me up and ask how I was doing. That's just how it is. The show is tilted towards him 1,000%. I can't even bend that far down to show you how much. That's fine. It's like you've got Aerosmith and there's Steven Tyler and he's the frontman. I found my spot, I'm second, and he's number one on the show. That's no problem with me, maybe he does have a problem. He even admitted, I think Mike wants to get his brother Robbie in there to replace me. I don't know why he's behaving like that towards me. But a friend told the Quad City Times that Frank and Mike had a tearful reunion over Memorial Day weekend. The pal said, This was not a feud between Mike and Frank at all. They were not feuding. They needed separation to appreciate each other. The friend explained that the longtime buddies' relationship became tense after 11 seasons of working 10-hour days, seven days a week on the reality TV show. She informed the newspaper that Mike and Frank were both in tears during their long-awaited reunion. The friend disclosed both were crying before adding that Mike brought up how nervous they both were to be going on David Letterman, which was one of their first big appearances. Mike told his former co-star, Nobody can replace you, Frank while admitting that it was Frank's uniquely funny personality that contributed to them working so well together for the 11 years they spent making the show. The arrangements were made after Frank told the friend, I need to talk to Mike, so she called the TV personality on Mother's Day to make the plans.